to go to heaven. Jesus, you've lied to yourself. Because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So when you come to God, and you got works, you got religion, you got being a good person, when the Bible says there's none that do it good, you're not going to heaven. You will go to hell. And the Bible says in hell you'll be in torment. And you won't have your alcohol. And you won't have your friends. Hell is a place of darkness. But the Bible does say you will have your tongue. And you would all to get a little drop of water. You won't want alcohol, you want a little drop of water to ease your tormented in hell. And all you have to do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That's it. You are the sinner. My Savior. Amen. Jesus Christ, my Savior. Amen. Sinners must repent and must put all their faith in Jesus alone. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and not of ourselves, lest any man boast. It's not what we can do. It is what God has already done. And the Bible has proclaimed that we are to preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the finished work of God. That is God dying on the cross. That is God being buried. And that is God coming out of that grave three days and three nights. How on earth are you going to top what God has already done? A mere human being that is a sinner is able to overcome the finished work of God, I trode not. And when you will not put your faith in Jesus, Jesus Christ will declare to you, depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And yet your name can be in the Lamb's book of life reservations to heaven through Jesus and Jesus alone. You can be known by God through Jesus. You can be saved by God through Jesus. You can be a child of God through Jesus. Now, you cannot be anything with God but a sinner when you have religion, works, or how good you are. When the Bible says there are none that do it good. No, not one. There is none righteous. Man has no righteousness of his own to get into heaven. You need the righteousness of God. God has made Jesus sin for us 
who knew no sin, that the righteousness, that we may have the righteousness of God in Him, Jesus. And if you don't have Jesus, you don't have righteousness. And you'll burn in hell without faith and trust in Jesus. Is that plain and simple? Only Jesus can save your soul. By the shed blood of God through Jesus Christ are you able to go to heaven and have a abode with God hell is no party hell is no pleasure the Bible says hell is tormenting and you don't get out you don't get free from the torments of hell because you refuse to believe on Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Bow the knee now as Jesus Christ as your Lord, God, and Savior. Don't bow the knee in the end times of the great white throne judgment. That's too late. Once you die, that's it. There's no coming back. And when you are in the flames of hell tormenting, you're not ever going to get relief again. And when you have heard a street preacher proclaim to you that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, no man cometh unto the Father but by me, and you think you have the goal to get to God without Jesus, you are sadly mistaken because Jesus will proclaim to you, depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. The only way to be known by God is through Jesus. And you are not okay without Jesus. You are dead in trespasses. You are dead in your sins. And the Bible says you're already condemned. It's not that you're condemned already. I mean, not that you're condemned, you're condemned already. You need to come out of condemnation. You need to put your faith and trust in Jesus and Jesus alone. And only by Jesus Christ are you able to be saved. It's not something to put off. It's not something to mark. Death is coming. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. With the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. The glory of God is Jesus. The glory of the devil is no Jesus. There is no good wishes and good hopes of surviving death without Jesus Christ. There is no other hope but the blessed hope. And that blessed hope 
is in Jesus Christ, God manifested in the flesh. You are the sinner that Jesus suffered and died for. You are the sinner that the finished work that he came out of that grave three days and three nights. That you might be saved. That you call upon the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And the Bible commands for you to bring your children unto the Lord. Jesus said, suffer the little children to come unto me. Forbid them not. Salvation is through Jesus Christ. Entrance into heaven is through Jesus Christ. The glory that God has is in Jesus. The satisfaction of God is when you will trust on Jesus Christ to be your Savior. And the Bible records that the angels in heaven rejoice when one sinner comes to know Jesus Christ as their Savior. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. For I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. I am saved by the blood of the Lamb. God Almighty saved my soul through Jesus. You can be saved too. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I didn't say join a church. I didn't say get baptized. I said believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Faith and repentance of your sins in Jesus Christ alone will get you to heaven. God's glory is Jesus. God's salvation is Jesus. The eternal blessed hope is Jesus Christ. The wrath of God is when you reject Jesus and choose anything but Jesus or choose nothing at all. The road to hell is a broad way. You can do anything you want to go to hell. But if you want to go to heaven, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. Come to God through Jesus. Come to God, the sinner that you are. And you are a sinner. You know one lie will make you a sinner? When you call your boss and say, I'm sick, I can't come in, and you're not sick, that's a sinner. That's lying. When you have taken a pen that's not yours, you have stolen. You are now a sinner. And when you come to God in your sins, you will be condemned to hell but believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Sin doesn't send you into hell. You not putting your sins in the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world will send you to hell. Rejection of Jesus Christ will cast you off into hell. Salvation is of and only by Jesus, only Jesus saves. And this message of the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died 
according to the scriptures, and was buried. And arose again the third day, according to the scripture, has been approved by God. The message of the gospel is so approved by God that God tells us Christians, go you all the world and preach that gospel. God tells you, the sinner, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. John tells you, if you do not have the Son, you will get the wrath of God. Jesus said you must. I'm on a public sidewalk. I know you we're going to be here for another hour, so it's it. Salvation can be wrought only by Jesus Christ. And I don't care if I'm shutting down the alcohol market if you were to come to Jesus Christ to be saved. Alcohol destroys your family destroys your life, Jesus can save you and your family. To the glory and honor of Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You cannot get to heaven without Jesus Christ. You cannot obtain God's glory without the salvation wrought by Jesus that he suffered and died according to the scriptures and he was buried and he arose again the third day according to the scriptures now I'm telling you that this gospel being preached is Bible approved by God and a God approves of the gospel message being brought to you and God will not lie to you. He's incapable of lying. He will never lie. And he will, cannot lie. And when the Bible says that you need to believe on Jesus, out of mouth of two or three witnesses, his word shall be established. Only Jesus Christ saves. And without Him, you're not saved. And you're not saved. God's love is Jesus Christ. God's approval is Jesus Christ. You cannot get to heaven without Jesus when the Bible says believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's God's plan of salvation. It cannot be any clearer. Jesus alone is the only way to God. When you die without Jesus, Jesus will tell you, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. You still have your sins applied when you have not come to the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. 
And when you die in your sin, unforgiven, unwashed, unclean, by the blood of Jesus Christ, you will be cast off in a lake of fire that burns forever. Death is coming. You have a terminal condition called death. And you will die because you are a sinner. People die because they're a sinner. You need the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world before you die. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Reject God's gift of Jesus and God will reject you. And there's no place for you to be rejected by God except the lake of fire that burneth forever. A place of torment forever. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That everlasting life lies upon God's Son, who is God.